mutually exclusive or not? This is a very important question which needs to be answered when we are trying to do probability of two or more events. Now here is a case where we are dealing with a card is drawn from a standard deck of cards. Determine if the following events are mutually exclusive or not. Then find the probability. Now the first one is probability of getting 3 or 10. So you can get either 3 or 10. So no way there is an overlap. So in this particular example we know it's mutually exclusive. So probability of getting 3's and 10's no overlap at all. So how many 3's are there in a deck of card? There are 4 3's right? So it is 4 out of 52 times uh, not times but or means it could be added right so there is or 10 the how many tens are there there are four tens so 4 over 52 since these two are mutually exclusive events there is no overlap so their probabilities get added up so it is 1 over 13 plus 1 over 13 or the answer is 2 over 13 right so this one is a mutually exclusive case, right? So we'll write this mutually exclusive and then find the probability which is this since there is no overlapping. So we'll write this as mutually exclusive. So let me write ME for mutually exclusive. Now the second one is in this game of cards to draw a spade or 10. What do you think? Is it mutually exclusive or not? Think about it. Now, the case here is, how many tens are there in a pack of cards? In a deck of cards, there are four tens, and one of them will be your spades. Do you see that? So, there is an overlap here. There is one ten, which is ten of spades. So, there is an overlap. So, this is not mutually exclusive. So, this is not mutually exclusive. So, if it is not mutually exclusive, then the probability is probability of getting spades plus probability of getting tens. Let me write the number 10 here minus probability of getting both 10 and spades, right? So that is what it is. Now, in this particular case, probability of getting spades is 13 over 52, right? Since there are 13 cards which are spades and 52 is a deck of cards plus probability of getting tens is four there are four tens so for example tens are hearts diamonds spades and clubs right so there are four it is three plus one and as far as the spades are concerned it is twelve plus one thirteen so there is ten of spades also which is common here do you see that part so the probability of getting tens is 4 out of 52 and probability of getting both that means 10 of spades there's only one 10 of spades so it is 1 out of 52 so we get our result as 13 plus 4 17 minus 1 16 so we get 16 over 52 correct now we can divide both by 4 getting 4 over 13 as our answer so this one is not a mutually exclusive case since there is something common and something common is 10 of spades right so that is how we get our answer now the last one here is probability of getting a card which is hearts or red now all hearts are red right so if I have to really see it so we are trying to get this case like this red is every card which you're talking about red means it could be hearts or diamonds and within that we have hearts right so we have hearts here so we have hearts here and the other ones are diamonds do you see that the other ones are diamonds so that is the kind of case combination of hearts and diamonds is basically red cards right so in this case what is the probability as we know this case is also not mutually exclusive right since there are overlaps all the hard cards are actually red cards right so there is an overlap in this case 
we'll say what is the probability of getting hearts and we'll add that since it is or to the probability of getting red cards and we'll take away the common things which are probability of heads I mean hearts which are and red right that is what it is now probability of getting hearts is there are 13 cards out of 52 plus red is 13 plus 13 13 hearts and 13 diamonds right 52 minus all hearts are red cards so they are common so minus 13 over 52 so that results into 13 plus 13 which is 26 divided by 52 right so that is what we get here so it is 26 divided by 52 which is half so probability of getting hearts or red card is 50 percent or half right I hope you understand and appreciate that in this case the whole set of hearts is actually subset of red cards right so basically in a deck of cards there are 50 percent red cards and 50 percent black cards so probability of getting red is actually half right so it makes sense and that makes it very clear how the probability of not exclusive and exclusive events should be considered if the events are mutually exclusive right and we are talking about probability of event A or B and there is no overlap then just sum of two probabilities but if there is an overlap then this overlap portion is being counted twice so we need to take it away so that is a critical difference and that is why it is extremely important for us when we read a question to understand whether we're talking about mutually exclusive case or not mutually exclusive case right i hope you appreciate it thank you